And you were, uh, we were joking before, were you in the Offerman Woodshop? We were in the Offerman Woodshop, in fact. Yeah, I mean, they they said it, uh, you know, at Ron's cabin, and I, I called Morgan and said, you know, I have I have a wall covered with old fencing that I, that actually uh, uh, here's a fun terrific fact um, it's an old redwood fence that used to be around a house that belonged to Rob Schneider who's an act <laughs> he, he's an actor that used to have small parts in Adam Sandler movies um, <laughs> oh and I knew a carpenter who who like his job was to pull out this fence and get rid of it. And I said, oh, "Holy cow! Uh, an <laughs> acre of, of weathered redwood fencing. I've got a, I've got a spot for you." Amazing. For the record, there are multiple backdrops within that wood shop that would have been perfect. Well, I agree. Thank you. But the the trick was uh, finding one that didn't scream out because most of the wall space is covered with jigs and tools and other things that say. We're clearly in Offerman's wood shop, and we we <laughs> wanted to give at least a slight suspension of disbelief and say, "Well, I'm <laughs> I'm in a strange building uh, that we're calling my cabin." Um, we're in a strange yard, which we're calling Switzerland. When we come across uh, Paul right at the top, um, <laughs> Mike, I have this question times times fifty uh, in my notes here. Did Paul Rudd already have a Nope 2020, uh, 2012 hoodie, or was that a wrap gift one year? Did you did you send people uh, <laughs> like meaningful props to make this happen? Props and costume. So, um, Gabe Perella, who is our properties master, did get some props to some people, and Kirsten Mann got some costumes, I think, to some people. But there were other people who just had taken stuff from the set um, when we left, and. Um, and so, you know, when, when we were like, when we came up with the idea that, that Ben Wyatt, for example, would be, uh, obviously anytime Ben doesn't have work to do, he goes a little nutty. Uh, he makes claymation movies that turn out to be, you know, two and a half seconds long, or he makes uh, very complicated board games. And so <laughs> we pitched this idea that he was combining those two things. Um, and, and as luck would have it, um, Adam already had the little claymation guy that he used from that episode in his house. And he had the little model that the claymation guy was walking around in when he was making the original movie. So there were times we got lucky. The, the Paul Rudd thing was truly incredible because that was a very, that was the last thing, that was the last idea we had. In the original, Amy was on camera, and I think Nick was too, um, doing this sort of introduction and saying like, hi, we're making this special, it's a fundraiser for Feeding America, and giving all the information, and they did an excellent job, because they're both excellent performers. However, it, I found it to be very weird when I, when I watched the cut of it, because you basically have Amy and Nick as themselves, and then like one second later, they're on camera in character, and it just sort of took the fun out of seeing them for the first time be playing Leslie Nope and Ron Swanson. And so I was like, well, who else could we get to do this? And my first thought was Paul Rudd because the joke of he doesn't even know what's going on was instantaneously in my brain. So I texted Amy and said like, I was like, do you know, would he do this? And she's like, happy to ask. And so she uh, put me in touch with him. And I said, hey, here's the deal. We're doing this thing. Is it possible? And he was like, yeah, great. Absolutely. So I wrote the script in like two minutes and I sent it to him. And he sent back that take like four minutes later. It was the craziest thing. It was so crazy. It, he's And he's in, he's not on the East Coast. I think in upstate New York somewhere or Massachusetts. I don't even know. But, you know, he had his own camera and his own microphone. And he totally got the, um, the, got the joke and understood it and just went out into his backyard or wherever he was. And he shot that thing and he sent it back to us and we just dropped it right in. It was really wonderful. Uh, so the, to answer your question, though, when we watched it for the first time, he was just wearing a Nope 2012 sweatshirt. Like we didn't, we didn't send him that. So I think he must have just had it. It was a crew gift, I believe. It was a crew gift one year. So I think he yeah. we gave we gave it to him, and then he just happened to have it with him on the East Coast. And and like a genius, like a comedy genius, uh, it is so funny to me that Bobby Newport, who lost that race to Leslie Nope, is wearing a. Wearing in character, wearing a sweatshirt that says Nope 2012. 